it's a buddy boots and welcome to a game called firewatch this came out a couple of days ago it came out on the 9th and i know two things about this game number one loads of you guys have asked me to play it it is being so hyped up right now it was trending on twitter when it was released on steam which i just i mean i've never seen that before maybe i just don't pay attention number two this seems to basically be like a hiking walking simulator but with a story I don't really know. I've seen a couple of videos on it. I haven't really watched it in depth because I didn't want it to be spoiled for me. But basically, it would seem that you are this, like, watch guard for this fire tower in the middle of nowhere and some mysterious things happen and you have to go and investigate and you have to walk and an epic tale begins. I don't know. Please say, oh, thank goodness, it's got controller support. I should have checked that beforehand, really. I'm so glad. There's nothing I hate more than, you know, a calm, happy game and all you hear is... You know, not good. Anyway, let's start a new game. We've been going on for ages. New game. There we go. I do not know what to expect here. I am excited. Get off the screen, cursor. Huh. Okay. Campo Santo presents. Probably sounds better in a non British accent. Campo Santo. Panic Inc. I didn't know Brenda knew he was doing that sort of thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Oh man, we're going back in time again. Let's do the time warp again. As you can tell, I never really went to any parties. Oh, you see Julia. I, I really don't know that time warp song. That is how, oh, you see, okay. Oh, I have to click, sorry, didn't know. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You. Henry, are out drinking with your pals. My name is Henry, you approach her. You are drunk. Ooh, okay. So what's your, you know, major? Or you, you're pretty. Um, I'm gonna go with you, you're pretty. I know I probably shouldn't, but, ah, uh, You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter. One week later, blah, 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 blah. she flags... She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. That's cute. I like it. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I have a backpack. How do I pick up? Really don't want to have to use my mouse click. Are you kidding me? Please don't make me use the mouse click. You can't be serious that I have to use mouse click. That's not... Please don't make that a thing. Okay. I'm in a car park. This is gonna be my car. Oh. Truck bed, load gear. See, there's no A, X, Y, B, mouse clicks, trigger. Oh, trigger, because that makes sense. Let's have our action button, a trigger. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Aw. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Oh, this is cute. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay, fine. It's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Hmm. I'm gonna go with what she wants. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aww. Now I feel bad for mayhem. Couldn't I have both? Talk out on the deck. Oh, 1979. Oh, geez. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Uh, kids. They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. Aw. That would be pretty good. Let's have kids. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. That's not romantic. Come on, man. Where's your grand gesture? Um, these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. I think my dad, literally, the way he proposed to my mum was, oh, uh, I guess we should get married then. There was, like, no proposal. There was no getting on one knee. Nothing. Oh, my parents. Okay. I am in a field. Let's have a look at some buttons now. Okay. Still can't do anything with A. Can we jump yet? There appears to be no jump. There's a zoom. Nothing is doing much. Maybe that'll come later? Not sure. Oh, I can run? What was that? Oh, if I hold X, I can run. But no jumping. Not cool. I want to jump. Thoroughfare trails not recommended for inexperienced hikers. 
Alright, no fireworks. Gotcha. Learn to live with bears. No. Fuck no. Scary ass shit. Okay. I don't really know what to expect from this game. You know, like I said, it feels like a hiking simulator, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's a Thursday night and Julie is four hours. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. She doesn't call. You're getting worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh, don't leave me. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh, I'd rather get mad. Get your emotions out. Rather than, like, you know, ignoring it. You call her an inconsiderate arsehole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Well, arguments happen, man. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Let's frolic like Victoria's Secret model. Okay. Julia was right. You are very pretty. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Gotcha. Really don't know what the fuck's going on here. I got, I got nothing. Just, I'm just gonna keep walking. Because I presume it's a slow start. And there's gonna be some epic action sequence at the end. Or maybe it's just a really plain story based game. Two forks. Fire lookout. Eight more miles still. That's no good. I don't wanna walk eight miles. Make me jump. Okay. That was the A button. Gotcha. Oh. It's not that bright. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. This is so cute. This is like seven years after they met. This is adorable. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Oh, man. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, you don't want to go that way either. And then on, you walk by the river. This is ominous. Okay. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Oh, come on, man, you've been together nine years. It's time to procreate. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move you, absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Man, if it's her dream job, you let her take it. You know, like, Luke's up in Manchester filming a film. Am I going to be selfish and say, no, you're not allowed? No, bullshit. No way. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three months each, three times each semester. Can't talk. I'm so sorry. Usually I'm okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague before borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she'd happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh no. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine, try and forget about it. No, talk about it, talk about it. Oh no, oh no. I've seen multiple doctors and having many tests. They're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Shitting hell, okay. Oh, this is just really sad now, isn't it? Okay. Let's read, yo. Do some reading. Oh, oh, that's me. Okay. That's cute. I like that. Hey, I wasn't done. Oh, right. Okay. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Okay. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh, man. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children are idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. She's gonna die, isn't she? I mean, come on. She's gonna die. This is so depressing. Jeez. Okay. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. 
I can take care of it myself. I don't know. I don't know. I'm already really sad. Jeez. I can only presume that this... I know I don't have to go this way. I'm just looking around. I'm going to presume this is the guy getting a new job and escaping everything after she dies, right? I mean... I mean, come on. It's got to be. It's got to be, right? Okay. Let's find out what's the next part of the story. Come on. There's a cute little birch tree. They're all, are these all birch trees? Jeez, I didn't know they could get so big. Oh, where am I? Oh, okay. Cross the log. Oh, there's a deer. Well, I mean deer slash stag slash slash slash. I don't know. Deer just mean death in every freaking game I play. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. Please don't like dying of fire. That's, <laughs> that's the sort of answer they'd want you to make. Okay. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Well, yeah, you're allowed to treat yourself. Oh. Oh. One night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. Oh, shit. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Oh, God. Okay. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They, then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer's coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. So maybe she doesn't die. You take it. So she's not dead. She hasn't died. She's just been moved. Okay. Enter the lookout tower. I guess we're finally going to begin this freaking game, huh? That was the longest ass intro I think I've ever seen. Okay. What the hell is all this? What? There's nothing glowing here. Oh, come on. Those are some lazy textures. Either that or my graphics card has gone skewy. I don't know. Maybe it's just me criticizing everything. What's new? All right, let's go up the stairs. Can I run yet? Oh, yeah, I can run by. Okay, pressing the control stick. Okay, sounds good. Yay for no stamina bars, I think. Although I have stopped running. Oh, come on. I like unrealistic stamina. All right. Turn on the power. That doesn't seem hard. Pow! That was simple. Okay. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hi. Hello. Uh, hold left shift. Oh, left trigger. Okay. And up and down to select. Um, okay. hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. <clears throat> so, what's wrong with you? Yeah, Excuse try to sound happy. People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? personal. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay. Are there any subtitles? Hang on. Sorry. I know. I don't want to disturb, you know. There we go. There we go. You know, go okay ahead. now. Uh, okay. You've killed three ex husbands. Let's okay, be mean. you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. That's which, really after mean. This brief introduction is not a big shock. Wow. What a Ouch. dick. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. That was pretty mean. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. Ooh. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Huh. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job yeah. and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Nope. Good night. And that's sexist. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Okay. Righty ho. Day one. Jeez. Alrighty. Please don't tell me I'm actually morning, writing Henry. a novel. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> 
You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me? How are you seeing me? How do you see me? Answer radio call. Okay. How do you see me? Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Oof. Yeah, I'm the boss. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? What's this stuff? 6.45. Whoops. Ooh, pretty. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission kind of for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. Please. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, round thing. Yeah, got the round thing. Oh, this is, this is interesting. Okay, okay. yeah, I see it. Good this mechanics. is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, <laughs> you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? What? Nothing. Um, what? You, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God what? language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What's west? I don't know what west what is! fucking fireworks? I don't know! Help me, I don't know what West is. Oh, N to use compass. I don't fucking know. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? I don't know. I'm trying to find my compass on this freaking thing. There we go. Down, apparently. All right. Seriously, are you seeing this? Shut up. No, I'm not. No, I'm not seeing anything. But wait, it was West, wasn't it? Don't, oh, God. Henry. Yeah, I'm here, bitch. Shut up. I can't use compasses! Yes, I see them. I see them. Whoa, that's not that legal, right? That took way too long. Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Gonna punch him. Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. But I You'll want probably to. need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply oh, box on the way. The God. code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. That's safe. That's a safe one. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> What the fuck did I have to do? I was n I I I gotta be honest. I was absolutely not listening to her. All right, fine. Screw it. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just gonna go this way. Ha! Huh, right, let's check this map again. Two four look. Two forms look at. All right. Well, I don't know. I can't read maps. Okay. This is genuinely like a hiking simulator. Oh, that's too detailed. Come on. I know. I'm just complaining for the sake of it. I mean, I didn't like Life is Strange when we first started playing it. Is this it? Is this the cash box? <gasps> Yay! Uh, I found, found the supply, supply box. box. Great. Okay. Can I open it now? There we go. One, two, three, four. So quick and easy. So secure. Old rope. Take that shit. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. Can do. Uh, granola bar. Sure. E. Hold E. I don't know what that button will be. Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, I've eaten it now. Probably didn't need to eat that, did I? I don't know what to do with that. Fuck it. Don't need it. Uh, copy information. Do that. Okay, great. What's this? Uh, read. Q. I don't know. I'll read it from here. Hey man, guy I couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout, put some stuff in a box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. From 1986. Jesus. Okay. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Let's just keep it. Harmless, but... Yeah, one of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Great. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Wonderful. 
Great news. All right. Let's keep going. I'm sure we'll be down here. I mean, it's a trail. It's got to be down here. Can I go around that instead of being show offy? What's that? Clawed up tree. Uh, okay. Report claw hey, marks. there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen oh, their claws on trees. Oh, great. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, Wonderful. they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. That's Don't you nice. Think that's disconcerting. No, Henry, that's life. Oh. Christ, lady. I don't like her very much. She's a bit of a dick. Maybe she'll get nice. Why can't I attach the rope to hook? Oh, uh, this do that shale first? slide is uh. steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Okay. Yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's, it's a 50 foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. It's they not 50 just foot. look like knives, okay? Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. Okay, too much banter. Can we shut up now? Why can't I attach the rope? Okay, turns out. You just have to go around the front of it. Of course, right? Of course that's how the game works. Fucking hell. All right, let's go. Jeez, that took me way longer than I want to tell you. Whee! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, you okay? Ouch, Rooney. Dude, you all good? It's not, that's not good. Dude, you okay? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Widowmaker got the best of me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, <laughs> did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Old climbing gear, examine. Okay. That did nothing. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't yep. go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Okay. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. I'm guessing it's this way, then? I don't know. This seems more east to me, but again, I don't know how things work. That's north. That's west. Okay. I think. Report meadow. Why am I reporting a meadow? Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Maybe they heard about you, lady. Okay. <laughs> It's very hard to make exciting commentary about a game that, that there's just nothing happening. There's nothing happening. I'm walking through a field, a really nice field, but it's just a field nonetheless. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. The idiots down at the lake. Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Found the fireworks. There you found go. the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Can do. Let's clean all this up. Why not? What a mess. What a complete mess. Awful. Stump out. Can I stump out? Yay! Ooh, backpacks. Oh, they so dead. They so dead. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Guessing she's had that problem before. Okay. Oh, there's there's jumpers up there. There's gonna be some shit starting. Believe me. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're <laughs> obviously still there. So tell them off and then head back. Can do. Oh my god. There's a Boston Holden right in front of me. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Can I keep it for later? 
Can I keep it for later? Did I keep it for late? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, come on. Let me have the bra. It's like a keepsake or something. Oh. Oh, God. What's this? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's just. <laughs> uh, there are uh, panties. <laughs> what? I don't want to say that word again. Panties. Why? Because you're 12? Panties. I love it. They're gonna be naked. It's gonna be funny because they're gonna be naked. Oh, what's this? Another bra and another pair of panties. There's a. Uh, <laughs> yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can <laughs> you handle that? I can on, definitely I like handle naked that. Ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. I'll try, okay. but... Oh god, there they are. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a oh guy dear. over there? <laughs> yep. Boy, enjoy dealing with that. Uh... You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, alright? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler Buffet. Whoa! <laughs> what? Dick. It's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. What does grody mean? All right to just stare Is that a phrase? I don't know. Okay. Took all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? You yep. Dick. Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. I'm coming That's to fucking so get you. Fucking bogus. Oh, it won't let me. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. <laughs> You're gross. Yeah, You're I'm just so a gross. Sad man out in the woods. Oh, that's mean. Yeah, get the fuck out. Asshole. Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Okay, great. Can I turn that off? I hope they drown. <laughs> I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. That's really Just mean. Gonna go I'm gonna make this guy really mean. That as a threat. Thanks. But yeah, seriously appreciate it. though, thanks for dealing with it. No problemo. How the fuck do I get back now? Ooh, I've got this nice fancy stream. Look at this stream. Such a pretty stream. Ooh, I feel like a salmon. I have a bit of a confession to make. Okay. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first right. boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why I you're out here and stuff. Yeah, uh, whatever. Well, um, you know, I'll try to make it up to you. Thanks. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Will do. Ooh. That's not good. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Always a good tip. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. You got well, hit by there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I would I not want to meet don't him. don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What, what killed, killed him? him? Suicide. Would you oh. believe? Right, uh, she said they're all one, two, three, four. So... I can't count, apparently. What do I get? Do I get some goodies? Let's copy that information down. Okay. And... Can I take whatever that is? No? What's that? A horn! Ooh. Oh, that grunting is giving me the horn. Okay, well, I can't do anything with that. Take it. Take the flashlight. Man, come ah. on. Ah, God, ouch. F to toggle flashlight. There we go. Sticky button. Okie doke. So, ooh, I could go through a cave. Or I could go up the fancy way. Cave. Fancy way. Danger. Scenic route. Ah, let's go for danger. What's in this cave? What's in this cave down here? 
in Thunder Canyon? Thunder I Canyon? Know. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? Let's I don't see. know, rocks? Okay. NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Right. Thanks, babes. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Yeah, of course. Like, duh, of course I would. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> I'm starting to like these two. They have nice banter. So this is locked, so I can't use this. Report lock gate. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Ooh. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> Maybe it's mysteries are locked well, away guess for good. Guess who's gonna find oh, them? Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Oh yeah, Hank. It looks like the path leads to the cave. Keep forgetting that Hank is short for Henry. It's so weird. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, what? Another lookout? They go in. They never come out. She's such a dick, I love her. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is, yep. She's fun. She's a dick, but she's fun. Uh, I mean, really? Do we need to, do we need to have a quick time for clearing a bush? Okay, this is starting to get very walky. Very walky and very talky. It's a walky talky simulator. Let's go up here. I'm sure this will take us back to wherever the hell we need to go. Ah, uh, there we go. Is that where we are? Ah. Okay. I don't really know where we are. No, oh, well, who needs to know? And that is a very nice technological map that's on paper, but also flashes. I like it. Technology these days, huh? Not really sure. What are these power lines doing out here to the north? Well, to connect things Those to power. Those are comms think. lines. They connect folks like me to central command. Got it. Neat. And if you can see them, that means you turn north of the cave and far, far away from Two Forks. Damn it. You should head back. Oh, come on. Really? Ugh. I don't know how I feel about this game. I've got to be honest. I'm not. I'm not a massive fan of this. I think it's very. Uh, it's trying too hard, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys think I'm wrong. I don't know. But I'm not really. I'm not vibing it, like, at all. Really. All right, let's go back in the cave. Let's try again. Let's try and figure out what we're doing. Hello! How fun. I guess I'm gonna keep going. Ah, I keep going up here. Got it. Gotcha. Oh. My goodness. Jump! Thank you for not being terrible and actually making that. Okie dokie dokie do. It's a very pretty looking game. But I, I just, I don't feel like we've got anywhere. We've just told off some kids for some fireworks and that's it. I haven't playing for quite some time. But maybe that's just because I couldn't figure some things out. I don't know. Maybe it'll get really interesting. Who knows? Oh, so much climbing. So much climbing. Okay, more climbing. Come on, buddy. Up we go. Oh, trail closed sign. Yeah, I'm not freaking surprised. Oh. Well, you are a clumsy motherfucker, aren't you? Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank Any you. Anytime. <laughs> Right, wooden sign. Let's pick it up. Okay. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. What's wrong with Forrest Burns? As an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. What's wrong that with Forrest really Burns? That really me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. He's fine. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. That's not nice. Um... So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Oh, well, we're back at the thing! One, at least. 
And, I didn't uh, even realize we're back here. I pee wherever I want as well. Great, good. Stop flirting. It's, it's first. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. Lucky me. What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could It's not never. enough, Delilah. <laughs> okay. So I guess we just go back then. I guess that's the end of day one? I don't know. Maybe. Let's find out, I guess. I don't know. I wonder if I... I don't know if I could do it. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How Those the hell- goes. You should get inside. Fuck oh. me. Really stormy? Okay, please don't be the girls. Are they gonna, like, the drunk naked girls, are they gonna come and, like, I don't know, make out with me? Wishful thinking. Okay, this- oh my god, okay. Someone broke in. They what? They just- they wrecked the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Jesus. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Oh man. What the hell? They're taking, like, everything. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. So yeah, copy it those sucks. Girls. Throw it with Julia. That's okay, I put in a call. Aww. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The girls? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, That's I'll have so the rangers shitty. keep an eye out for a couple of young what women bitches? and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Apparently. Uh, what okay, bitches? in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but Great. at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Well, thanks, but that I doesn't really do anything. Out here. Yeah, doing a great job. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Well, Grenades? I mean, maybe. I'll see what I can do. Oh, come on, I'm trying to put the thing back. Oh, day two. Well, that's good, because I'm going to leave this episode here. I have mixed feelings. I think there's very little going on Wake up. with it. Yo, stop, stop, pause, stop. Can I pause? Hey, wake up. Won't even let me pause. I'm awake. Shut up. I'm trying to end my fucking video. There we go. Right. <laughs> I don't know what I think. I don't know. It's very... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to carry on with it. Apparently it's quite a short game. It's like four to six hours. And I feel like I've just done a good hour or so. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry if I seem a bit quiet. I, just, I don't really know what to say. It's just rocks. We're just hiking and climbing. There's nothing really... I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever the hell I feel like playing. Catch you later. Bye!